Okay, so for this lab, you need one graduated cylinder. Um, you're going to need some hydrogen peroxide, which is also known as H202. You're going to need a 10 milliliter syringe or a 5 milliliter syringe. Um, this is our liver solution, which has the enzyme catalase in it. A pair of forceps, some paper discs, and this is our reaction chamber. So what you're going to do first is measure out 10 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide with the syringe. And that goes straight into our reaction chamber. Okay. Then we're going to take one of our paper discs with the forceps and dunk it in the liver catalase solution. Try to get any excess stuff off. What you're going to do is stick this on the side of the reaction chamber because we don't want it to react with the hydrogen peroxide yet. And then put your uh, stopper back in. All right, then you're going to take your graduated cylinder and put it into your bucket of water and you want to get all of the air out, no bubbles, and invert it. So flip it upside down so it's all full of water and there's no air in there. This reaction chamber is going to be laid down. The part with the disc in it is going to be on top. You still don't want the uh, liver catalase to react yet. And then with the graduated cylinder still below, stick the pipette in there, and then you can mix your hydrogen peroxide together. You'll see the bubbles, and that means that oxygen is displacing the water in the graduated cylinder. And you're going to take a reading of this every 30 seconds or so. And so you can read the amount of oxygen produced by the amount of air that goes in here or water that's displaced. And that's it.